It is no secret that male models have some of the most aesthetic physiques on the planet. More specifically, they have abs for days. But did you know that you, yes, you can get abs like them too? Hi. For those of you who are new here, my name is Matty. I'm a male model and a physiotherapist. And I also did a personal training qualification back in 2017. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three steps that you can follow in order to get abs like a male model. So without further ado, let's get on to the steps. Step number one is to be doing the right exercises to work your abdominal muscle. If you are doing sit-ups or crunches, you need to stop doing them right now because even though they are building your abdominal muscles and getting them stronger, they can lead to developing muscle imbalances, which can cause low back pain. The primary function of your core is to support and stabilize your low back. Therefore, completing isometric holes will be more beneficial than doing reps. Here are three exercises that you can do instead of sit-ups or crunches. The first exercise is a plank. The plank is a fantastic exercise for working your entire core. So to perform a plank, you want to get into the position shown in the video, and then you want to tuck in your tummy, squeeze your glutes, but don't let your bottom come up. Keep it down. So you want to hold it for about 30 seconds and do at least three sets of this exercise, two to three times a week. The next exercise is quite similar. It's called a side plank. And this is a great exercise for working your obliques and transverse abdominis. To perform a side plank, you want to adopt the position shown in the video, squeeze your core, keep your legs and your bottom off the floor and your elbow is propping you up. And of course you want to do it on both sides, 30 second holds, resets, two to three times a week. The final exercise is a bit of an optional slash bonus one. It's known as a dish hold. Now the reason why it's called a dish hold is because gymnasts use it in order to create shapes for their flips. So when they do like backflips, pikes, layouts, all these different shapes that they have to hold when they do a flip, go in the air and complete a somersault, they need to have incredible ab strength in order to complete this. To perform this exercise, you want to press your lower back against the floor, stick your legs out nice and straight, and your arms should be by your ears, and you will feel it, particularly in your lower abs. It's a tough exercise. For this one, you won't be able to hold it for 30 seconds. So normally about 10 to 20 seconds is enough. Three sets, two to three times a week. Step number two is you want to be doing compound lifts. So if you're not already in the gym doing some sort of resistance training, like what are you doing? It is absolutely essential if you want to build an aesthetic physique. And that being said, I've actually made a video on how to build an aesthetic physique like a model. So feel free to go and check out the link in the description below. There's also a free workout program. You can go and check that out, download that and get started in the gym. As we've already established, the function of the core is to support and stabilize the lumbar spine during flexion, so it's bending forwards, extension, bending backwards, and then rotation. This is especially important when you are lifting heavy objects. So that could be lifting a sandbag from the floor, lifting a suitcase. You need a strong core to be able to lift said object. So working your core, working your trunk muscles is going to strengthen them. And by strengthening them, they're going to hypertrophy. They're gonna, they're gonna grow. So hit the gym, perform compound movements like military press, like the squat like the deadlift. I know it kind of sounds counterintuitive because you think to work your abs you need to be isolating them but actually by doing compound movements you are working your abs anyway. In addition to working and strengthening your core the compound movements are actually going to have a whole load of other benefits as well including increased muscle mass, increased bone density, increased testosterone and reduced stress level. Now on to step number three, which is the final step. Even though you followed those first two tips and you've built a crazy good solid foundation with your core, you've built great abs, they are underneath a layer of body fat. You have to peel off that body fat. You have to strip away that body fat in order to reveal them. Look at how lean male models are. That's the reason why their abs come through. That's the reason why you can see their abs. So in order to lose body fat, it really is as simple as calories in versus calories out. You want to eat less then you are burning, which will put you in a caloric deficit. I've made a YouTube short on this, which I'll leave a link in the description below. But if this video gets 100 likes, I will make an in-depth tutorial on how you can actually set up your diet to lose body fat. Some basic tips on this is to eat less processed food, reduce the sugar and the saturated fats, eat more lean meats, fruits, vegetables. And the reason why eating all these whole foods is going to help you lose body fat is because these whole foods are so voluminous and they're very filling, you're going to eat less automatically. Think about if you eat a jack of potato that's super filling, right? As opposed to eating some potato chips because the jack of potato has so much water and fiber in it, but the potato chips have been dehydrated and they're so easy to eat. Another bonus tip is to drink plenty of water. It takes you a little while to feel full 
and by drinking water it's going to slow how fast you're going to eat but also it's going to cause the food in your stomach to expand for me because i know i love eating all the time and i think about food almost all the time i actually don't eat breakfast in the morning i do something called intermittent fasting and this just reduces the number of meals that i can physically in a day which helps me to keep my calories a little bit lower otherwise i'd be eating like 5,000 calories a day so of course feel free to check out the rest of my channel i've made plenty of self-improvement type videos on it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace I'm on my own, broken along. i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town i'm searching for the lost and found